I want us to see the story of this particle son and I want us to see us on very on, on, on every day uh, on everyday life and every time uh, everywhere we go that we uh, we see ourselves the way God sees us we must see ourselves the way God sees us because otherwise we can't go further with God we can't grow with him amen I want to to see why we have to see ourselves this way In, in the story of Moses and when he was with uh, when he is with Israel uh, they're in the wilderness and uh, wilderness and Israel uh, Israelites and Jews they're just um, they're whining they're complaining they're sinning they're doing everything that God told them not to do and they just they just like a rebel child you know anything you tell them not to do they'll they'll for sure do it and that's what Israelites are doing so um, God sent uh, they just got fed up uh, God just got fed up with them. He sent the snakes. Snakes begin to bite them and they begin to die. And so Moses goes to God and he says, God, please spare him. Please forgive him. God has mercy on them. In his, he gives Moses, he gives him, uh, gives him instructions, says, you make a snake, uh, build a snake, put it on a stick. And he says, anybody that's going to look to that snake, they will be made well. And so, and so it happened that everybody that began to look at that snake anybody who was bitten by a snake and began to look at the, at the snake that Moses made everybody they, they begin to make, uh, become well and those that did not look they died and sometimes I think in our lives is that when we begin to focus ourselves uh, focus on our mistakes when we begin to focus on our shortcomings when we begin to focus on what we've done we've left undone or we did not do or things that we shouldn't do that we do that we did that we become quickly bitter and we quickly begin uh, um, be, uh, fall short of God's grace so instead of focusing so if you focus on a bite you will be uh, bitter but if you focus on the cross you will get better if we'll focus on what God has done who he called us to be that what God has done uh, in our lives who he calls us to be then we will become better because focusing on our mistakes will not get us better. Focusing on your shortcomings will not gonna get you further. Focusing on, 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 on the character's flaws that you have will not get you further. It'll get you more depressed and will get you um, deeper into your uh, self-pity party and, and it just it's not gonna get you anywhere. But lifting your eyes to the cross, lifting your eyes to Jesus, accepting who God calls us to be will get us out and will get us into a better place bible says the righteous falls seven times he gets up funny thing is that god doesn't call a righteous that fell a sinner bible still calls him a righteous person why because he's quick to get up we are righteous not because we don't fall we are righteous because we we get up because we choose to put our faith put our hope in Jesus Christ in the cross of Jesus Christ we choose to to accept that God sees us faultless and holy and we get up quickly and keep going and God calls that righteousness not righteousness because we fall or we don't fall but because we fall and we quickly get up amen